Well, one of the more successful videos on this channel in the past has been a review of a video wallpaper program called Como Rebi. And we're going to be taking another look at it right now on Linux Lounge. Indeed, here we are on my desktop now. Say what you want about the wallpaper. How else am I supposed to flex on our weebs on Reddit without a moving anime wallpaper? Let's be real here. Um, but no, uh, what's important here is this is an AUR, like Arch-based system with uh, Como Rebi running, and this is a video file I just happen to have, um, which as you can see is being used as the wallpaper. So first things first, if you want to have like video wallpapers, you want to have Como Rebi, how do I get it? Well, the way I did it is because I'm running Arch Linux, I got it right from the AUR, and there is indeed a package in the AUR to get Como Rebi installed. Um, now, it's not been updated in, you know, a while, but uh, Como Rebi itself actually hasn't been updated in a while. I don't think since uh, 2018 or something. However, the program works perfectly so there's no reason why it would be uh, and as you can see we've got it running if we right click we have our uh, options and such um, so let's just go ahead into the change wallpaper and as you can see we have a lot of built-in wallpapers many of them look rather nice I could absolutely see myself using one of these built-in ones um, yeah they're all pretty great particularly like this time-lapse one um, Let's just go back to our wallpaper, and if we go into the preferences, we can set it to show or hide desktop icons. We can use a 24 hour time, but this wallpaper doesn't have a clock on it. And of course, we can enable and disable video wallpapers, and we can quit Come Rebi if we want. Um, so that's that. But uh, let's say that we don't like the built in wallpapers and we want our own. Fair enough. Um, so the way you would do that is if we go into our you know little start menu thing, and as you can see, um, Como Rebi actually does not work with the sort of GNOME background, which to be expected, I suppose. And we go into our wallpaper creator, and it's very easy. It's a simple wizard thing. So let's just say we want to call our wallpaper just random spam, and we say our wallpaper is a video. You can even use a web page, which is really neat. But let's just say it's a video. And we go into our home folder while we uh, where we have this wallpaper stored. We can go ahead and click next, and we can show date and time. We can have like a parallax effect. We can change the position of the clock if we even so desire a clock at all. And we can change the color and uh, the transparency of the clock. And you can set the clock to be wherever you want. You can change the font on it. Um, so all in all, you, yeah, it's all very configurable. You can change the margins. But let's just say we want to hide the date and time, so let's do that. And there you go. All done. So if we want our um, wallpaper, we literally just need to open up the terminal, copy-paste this command, but of course I'm not going to because I already have the wallpaper installed. And after that, it's as simple as going into Como Rebi, selecting your wallpaper, and job done. It's a very easy way to get video wallpapers on Linux and um, it's completely free and open source too unlike uh, Windows Engine on uh, Windows is and I actually like this program slightly better than uh, Wallpaper Engine although you are gonna have to get video wallpapers off the internet or whatever uh, but it isn't hard although you're not gonna get like Como Rebi specific wallpapers for the most part um, but all in all, it is a neat program. I've tried it on several desktop environments. It works very well, and I would highly recommend you give it a go if you're looking for some video wallpapers on your Linux desktop. So that's uh, just about it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.